Hello there and welcome to Complete Games and we continue with my guide to unlocking all of the Federation armor suit skins and getting yourself that Shadow Main Chibi. And of course I hope you're enjoying the marathon of videos that we've got coming today. And this is the final one to unlock the helmet skin and we've just come to the Genesis Part 1 map and we're in the lunar biome for our first note. Just in the far south there we are on the map, just bring up the GPS as well. But it's much easier to track these notes by just tracking the missions. So if you find the Bulldog Basketball event and this giant sort of green obelisk, this is the area we need to be in for the first note. Now that was a horrible mission, that basketball event. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but I can't imagine trying to solo that one. It'd be quite difficult. And I must admit that all in all, Genesis was my least favorite map. I do respect the fact that Wildcard tried to do something different with it and whether we come back to try and complete it really will depend on how good Genesis Part 2 is and I do have high hopes it is going to be the largest map they've ever done and it should be somewhere around here I'll just check up towards the obelisk but I am looking forward to Genesis Part 2 it's out very soon is it around here? there we go, just triggered it Interesting that you're still able to access this simulation remotely. Interesting, but unhelpful. You're needed out in the real world now. Yeah, I should definitely get busy shutting down this connection. There's been a few too many connections turning up around here if you ask me. So that's note one unlocked just at the Bulldog Basketball event. And we need to head over to the ocean biome for note two. For note two, you're going to come out to the ocean biome and you need to track the manta ray races to unlock this one. It's the closest mission I can find to where the location is. And of course, I do find it difficult to distinguish these islands, but here's the map and I'll bring up the coordinates as well for you. And I'd say it's one of the medium sized islands quite close to the manta ray races. So let's get HLNA out. Just have a hunt around. And yeah, now I found this quite an easy biome originally. Let's just try going lower down, see if it's in the lower part of this island. There we go. Popped back into the delusion again, did we? Well, I do hope I didn't thrash you about too much out there. Knock you into a coma or anything. Still, while you're wandering around in dreamland, might be worth refreshing your memory of how much control I have over it. So we just had to jump down to the second ledge, and I think this is probably the hardest location out of them all to find as the islands look so similar. I just noticed a glitch there. If you haven't unlocked that one, then there's another landmark to look out for. But we need to head over to the bog biome for note number three. For note number three, you just need to come out to the bog hunt mission starting point and track that. And it's just sat above the green obelisk area on the swamp map. There we go, there's the chords and map location as well. But just track that mission, you'll find this. So let's just get H out. And I do know the bog area quite well, as I set up a base here when we was playing it. But I don't miss the swarms, I can tell you that. So. There we go, it's just unlocking. Great! As if I haven't got enough worries, I've still got that egotistical nutter talking your ear off through my voice box. And I was so sure I'd managed to shut him up. <sighs> right. Nothing for it but to try again. Hold that thought. So that's note number three down, and just follow the bog hunt mission to find that one. But for note four, we need to head on over to the volcanic biome.
So for note number four, you just need to come out to this giant obelisk shaped structure in the oil fields. And there isn't actually a track mission close by, but here we are on the map in the bottom right hand corner. And I'll also bring up the coordinates. So we're at 46, 86. And I have put the Magma Mili track mission on because if you can get to that position then you can see this structure quite easily it is about 500 meters away from here so we just need to get HLNA out and open up HLNA our fourth note so it should go off just somewhere around here I can't help noticing that you're still hallucinating could it be that there's some motive to your delirium no. That would imply that I've underestimated you in some way, and I assure you that you are well beneath my estimation. Pray I don't take notice of you again. So that's note four down, and for our fifth and final note, we need to head over to the ice lake in the snow biome. So we've just come out to the ice lake in the snow biome to unlock our fifth and final note. If you just track the ice fishing mission, it'll bring you here quite easily. And of course, this is going to be the final note for all of the Genesis 2 Chronicle extra notes leading up to the release of the game. So I'm just going to open up the artwork as well so we can take a look at that in this one. All right, that's enough time in the simulation for you. You really need to shift your focus to the outside world, babe. There's a colony ship in mortal danger needs saving. So wake up, survivor. We've got heaps to do. So that's the fifth and final note you need to find in order to unlock the helmet skin. And of course, if you've been following all of my guides that have been out today, then you will have unlocked the Shadow Main Chibi. So let's head back to my main base on Ragnarok to show everything off. So that's the Federation exosuit helmet skin unlocked and we've now got a complete set of Federation armor suit skins. But of course, it was all about unlocking that Shadow Main Chibi. And now when we wake up on that ship on the 26th of May, we'll have a little friend with us. And I can't wait to get there. So comments down below if you've enjoyed this bombardment of videos from myself. I hope you find these guides useful and let me know if you're going to be taking part in this challenge yourself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.